Good morning, everyone. It's Lisa from A Simple Season. Welcome back to my channel. I am just heading out to run a few errands this morning, and one of the stops I'm gonna be making is at the dollar store because I wanna check some prices on a few pantry items there. And I also wanna pick up a couple of things maybe for spring because I wanna line up my front door area. So come along with me and let's see what we can find. So I just walked into the dollar store today just to check out some of the grocery items to see if we can find some good deals on some pantry staples and because usually you can get some better deals than even Walmart here so we'll look and see what they have. This is what I love about the dollar store is you can get some really good grocery items for a reasonable price. This is a nice jar of strawberry jam and it's two dollars and twenty five cents. We've bought this jam for years and it's really really good so I'm going to pick up a couple. They also have cake mix for a $1.75, which you really can't beat, so I'm gonna grab one of these too. And they even have these nice imported olives from Spain for $1.75. Jars of imported sun-dried tomatoes for $2.50, and these are all a better price than a lot of local grocery stores. And if you like chocolate chip cookie mix, they have these ones for $2.25, and I've seen these for upwards of $3.59, $3.69 in a lot of other grocery stores, so these are a great value. And I found some gravy mixes here for good price, two for $1.25, so I'm gonna grab some of the mushroom ones, because I think this will be good for meatloaf or meatballs or anything like that. They also have Hunt's tomato sauce for $2. These were $1.50 last year, but $2 is still less expensive than Walmart. And here is another great buy that I found. They have canned vegetables, two for $1.50, and these are product of Canada, so that's really good because the equivalent um, thing at Walmart, the great value brand, is $1.27 for one, and these are two for $1.50, so I think I'm gonna grab a few of these and put them in my pantry. And it looks like the dollar store is turning out to be the best place to get your salty snacks because these ones are $3.25. They're a full dollar less than what they sell them for at Walmart. So it looks like this is still the best place to grab your junk food. Oh, I can't help looking at all of the pretty Easter stuff. Look at this. This is $5 and it's a cute little chocolate bunny with the eggs that go with it. And this is from Germany. So the chocolate I think is gonna be really nice quality. And then up here, they've got this little bag of eggs and these ones are imported from France. And what a nice little gift this would be for a neighbor who had some little kids or something. These would be so amazing. I also found these cute little Easter kitchen towels for $3. So there's a couple of different bunny prints and it looks like these are made out of cotton so they'll actually absorb uh, water from your dishes well. This one, I mean, they're so cute, but they're made out of what almost feels almost like a, a microfiber type fabric and they don't absorb as well, but the cotton ones will be just lovely and they're just so cute. And then they also have these sweet little cookie bags for um, little baked treats and then they have cookie boxes as well. They've got some silicone molds. They've got some cute little egg cups over here and then these little drink cups and these sweet little bunny plates. These would be so cute for appies. They've really stepped up their game here. They've even got these beautiful dinner plates that look like plates that you would find on the Amalfi Coast with, uh, or that look like Italian tiles. And then they also have these really nice bowls here as well, a beautiful blue color. There's one that's got a rose pattern here in white, and then there's one in red. They're absolutely stunning. And they're just starting to get all of the gardening stuff out now. And I found this little greenhouse kit here for $4.75. And it's got four, um, I guess, like these kind of hoop shaped things. And you just put plastic that it comes with over the top just to protect your smaller plants. And for $4.75, I've seen something similar to this on Amazon for probably quadruple the price. So this is a good deal just to protect your smaller plants while they're growing.
So here is my dollar store haul and I did pick up a few things that I didn't film. So here is one of them. I picked up a few bunches of these fake flowers and I love to use these by my front door. So I just like to put them in a basket and just set them up on the front step so that it livens things up a bit for spring. And I also picked up a few cans of these lemon and cracked pepper sardines. I love these and I'll just eat them right out of the can with some crackers or you can put them in a salad. But these were $1.75 and so that was actually a better price than the regular price at Walmart. Now of course when Walmart has a sale it's lower than that but these are a better price than the regular price there. And I also picked up a cake mix. I got three jars of the strawberry jam for $2.25 each. And of course, I couldn't resist this cute little bunny with the chocolate eggs. I picked up one of those to give away. I got two cans of the peas, a couple envelopes of the mushroom gravy. And then I also found these cute little scissors in the gardening section and they were $2.50. I thought this was a good value for these sweet scissors. I don't think I'm going to use them for outside though because I don't want them to get wrecked. And I also got this can of corn. So I have corn that I do need to use. So I'm going to put this in my pantries. I'm going to rotate the, uh, the one that I need to use. And I'm going to make something wonderful with this tomorrow night for dinner. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now I live in Canada, so we tend to spend more on groceries on average as a percentage of our income. So check your dollar store in your area because your prices are likely better than what we're paying here in Canada, especially if you live in the States. But they also had um, pounds of pasta on sale for a dollar. They had rice, they had packages of sugar on sale for a reasonable price. So I need to remember to go there more when I'm out of certain staples because they are in general less than most major grocery stores so it's a great thing to check out and now I'm just going to take the flowers that I bought and work on livening up my front door area So I'm gonna show you a really quick weeknight dinner that I made using a can of corn and some ground beef that I took out of the freezer. And I'm just gonna start off by sauteing the ground beef with some pepper and some onion. And I'll show you what goes in it. It's super simple, really easy, and so delicious. I've put my ground beef, onion, and pepper in the casserole dish, and now I'm just going to add a couple of teaspoons of taco seasoning over the top. One can of whole kernel corn. And one cup of chunky salsa. Then we're just going to mix everything up together. A few shakes of pepper over the top. And then we're gonna add some cheese. And now we're just going to cover up the casserole dish with the lid or you can use tin foil and cover it that way and we can bake it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and it'll be fantastic and you can serve it with a side of rice or some pinto beans. So it's the end of the day and if you've been watching this channel for a while you know that sometimes I get a little bit philosophical and the thought that I had today was that life is truly amazing and even though it can be hard and it can take a little more out of you than you can handle at times, 
I think you're right where you're supposed to be in life all the time. And I think that sometimes we're put in uncomfortable situations to help us grow and adapt and change. And as we shift and evolve, we're not the same person we used to be. And growth is a thing of deep, deep beauty. So it's good to be aware of it. Thank you so much for joining in. Stay well, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next one.